over 1,200 competitors from 19 cities across two continents for the chance at $50,000. It all ends today. The 2017 Top Golf Tour Championship. Hello and welcome to the 2017 Top Golf Tour Championship. I'm your host Shane Bacon, back again this year with more Top Golf action, and we are excited. Joining me today is a golfer some of you may recognize, John Kelly from the Top Golf Original Series, The Hook. John, welcome to the tour. Shane, thank you, man. Absolutely excited to be here at Top Golf Vegas, and I'm really looking forward to some serious competitive golf. One team will walk away from Las Vegas today with fifty thousand dollars and the title of Top Golf Tour champion. Now, John, this year the tour is a little bit different because it's officially gone international. We have 18 teams from locations all over the United States, and one team who qualified all the way from Top Golf in the UK. The players have just started warming up next to us before the first round of play, and standing by with them is our very own Paige Sporanic. Paige, how's it going over there? I'm here with Team UK, the first international team to make it. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, pretty good. Practice has been nice, so yeah, feeling pretty good. So, strategy for the first round? I think we're going to go towards the trench. Got to go for it, so let's see how we go. Awesome. We'll let you guys get focused and good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I'm really excited to meet you guys and talk to you guys. First female team, all female team here. How are you feeling this morning? We're very excited, ready to go. Let's get this thing started. Yeah. Awesome. Are you feeling a little bit of pressure trying to represent for all the ladies out here today? Yeah, we're definitely feeling a little bit of pressure, but we're just excited to be here and looking forward to having a good time. Awesome. Well, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm going to let you go get focused. Back to you, Shane John. Thanks, Paige. Before we get to the action, let's explain a little bit about how the championship is going to work today. We'll start off with 19 teams competing in the first of four rounds of golf here in Vegas. The first round is stroke play, so only the top eight will move on to round two. Wow. You know what we call that in the South. That's called cutting to the chase. Cutting them fast. 11 teams out. We don't mess around here on the tour. From there, the next three rounds of competition are head-to-head -head single elimination tournament play. And at the end of the day, only one team will be left swinging and walking away with $50,000. You leave Vegas with money, that never happens. Buddy, let me tell you something. You get that $50,000 check in your hand in Vegas, get to the airport quick. Don't mess around. In the first round, teams will play two games. The signature game here is called Top Golf, and they'll also play Top Contender Elite. In the game of Top Golf, players score points by hitting balls into any target. The more accurate their shot and the further the distance, the more points they'll earn. To show us a little bit more about how it works, let's head back to Paige. Thanks, Shane. So this may look like a normal golf ball, but it's not. It's the Top Golf Ball, which has a microchip embedded into the golf ball which tracks my shots and my scores to the seven different targets out there. So I'm going to hit it over to the green target, show you how it works. Looks good. Okay, so the Top Golf technology traces the shot live in real time. There you go, hitting the green target. So we are constantly up to date with all the other teams. Kicking it back to you, Shane. Let's get the tour started. All righty, we started with 600 teams. We have 19 left, and we're going to start round one of the 2017 Top Golf Tour. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's play. And a great day for some golf here today in Vegas. The teams are just getting started. We wanted to show you the two pieces of key technology exclusive to the tour this year to help you follow the action. First, is the live update leaderboard that tracks players' scores in real time. And second is the shot tracker technology that follows each ball flight and specific target zone score. Let's take a look at Rufus Bahalba hitting Team Austin's first shot. It's headed for the trench target, and it's in for 10 points. And as you can see, the leaderboard registers his score along with the rest of the field. Shane, you use a scoreboard for everything in this round. Everyone is focused on that cut line. Only the top eight advance. That's right, it's so important, John, to check the leaderboard often. We're gonna see a lot of movement up there, especially early on. 
Let's head over now to Team Phoenix, where Marty Jertsen is lining up his team's second shot after he missed his first ball to the white target. Oh, and that is another miss for Jertsen. Team Phoenix posting two zeros in a row for their first two balls. Oh, well, it may seem obvious, but this is the key to the first round. You can't put up zeros. You don't have to play perfect golf, but you just got to get in the top eight. Phoenix really has their work cut out for them. Heading over now to Team London's fourth ball. Matt Cousins lining up for the trench target. It looks dead on and it drops in for 20 big points. That strategy we heard earlier seems to be paying off for Team London. Matt and Brad are out to an early lead. Well, that's not bad at all, considering Brad's never even played top golf before the qualifier. I know the guys at Top Golf Watford uh, well, so I entered in. Didn't really have a, a partner as such just yet. I said, Brad, by the way, you're playing in the morning. And he didn't have a clue. Uh, pitched up and won it, so yeah, it was pretty good. First time I'd ever, I'd ever been, well, one yeah, of the first times. First time we've been to Top Golf and, <laughs> uh, and we won it, so yeah, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't a bad effort. Brad now aiming for the white. He sails it for an easy 16 points. Good start here for the Top Golf rookie. Here we go, moving over to Team San Antonio. Martin Miller and Michael Alt have some pretty big shoes to fill this year. They beat last year's second place team of Texas Harper and KC Lim to qualify for this year's championship. Nice swing on ball five to the blue for a huge 18 points. Stopping in now with Team Atlanta tied for eighth place just above the cut line with Washington DC. Justin Dehart and Ryan Whitley are playing for their tournament lives here. Whitley lines up and a big 20 point shot. These guys are fired up. I love it. Well, we asked all the teams what song gets them fired up before the competition. Here's what they had to say. We need to think of a song. It's something related to drinking, right? <laughs> MC Hammer. Lightning and the thunder. We are the champions. Thunderstruck. Back in black. Careless whisper. She didn't say Elton John or something like that. Yeah, song? yeah our song is any song with any rhythm, any beat is our song. Yeah, it's terrible taste of music, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> Moving through the bays quickly now, trying to get in all the action. Here are only lefty on the tour, Kevin Paulish from Team Chicago taking aim at the white target. Yeah, he may be the only lefty on the tour, but he's also the only player brave enough to wear those doggone socks. Not what he was expecting, falling into the brown target for only six points. Let's see if they can hold on with the mass of teams jockeying for position around that cut line. All right, so right here is what I'm gonna call the herd. We're almost finished with the first game and the difference between fifth and 14th place is just under 20 points. I mean, that's just one ball. A quick check in with Jacksonville. These guys call themselves Wasabi Con Ginger. They had a couple of zeros early, but found their stride with a string of really strong shots. Brett Benjamin lining up with a shot to the white target. A great ball dropping in for a big 20. Take a look. They jump all the way above the cut line with just that one shot. Checking in on Team Las Vegas. Jamie Puderbaugh punishing the trench target for 20 big points. And as we can see, they're sitting comfortably in second place behind only Team London. And finishing their first game in record time, Team Kansas City ends with a big 18 points from Chris Mabry to the white target. They got to be happy with their first game in round one. We are halfway through round one here at Top Golf Las Vegas, and really we've seen two teams emerge as the front runners, at least early on in London and in Las Vegas. You know, Shane, it doesn't surprise me one bit. These guys have serious golf games, and really they have tour swings. Yeah, we've seen 19 teams that have some really, really good golf swings. Those are the early leaders, but let's take a look at the full leaderboard. Well, as we mentioned, the story developing here that can't be ignored is the commanding lead Team London has over the rest of the field with 343 points. Interestingly, they missed on their last ball but still hold on to the top spot. Team Las Vegas puts on a good fight, as did Team Phoenix and Kansas City. Remember, only the top eight teams make it into the next round. Some of these teams will need a strong second game to have any chance at all. Paige Sporanek is with one of the teams with pretty good odds. So I'm here with Team Las Vegas. You guys are dominating. What are you doing right? Uh, we're trying to hit the golf ball really hard and at the back trench. 
That's the main thing right now. Okay, so strategy for next round. We'll see. This one will have more strategy the next game, so we'll have to kind of pay a little bit more attention as opposed to the same club getting in the zone. So. Awesome. Well, good luck and hit it long, hard, and far. <laughs> Still a lot of action to come, but first, I'm joined by a special guest. Yes, you see him. That's the Travelocity roaming at Gnome. Travelocity, our official travel partner here at Top Golf. Travelocity roaming Gnome, welcome to the tour. Great to be here, Shane. This is quite a crowd. Yes, it is. We're representing 19 cities across two continents. They've traveled from all over. Yeah, we heard you were there when the players arrived. Roll the tape. Team Atlanta, baby. Team Cincinnati here. Guys from the UK. Next stop, Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Welcome to Vegas. Woo! Vegas, baby! Glad you could make the trip. It was quick. It was 47 minutes, uh, cocktail on the plane. It was easy. Vegas, baby. Las Vegas, baby. Got up nice and early this morning, and uh, before you know it, we're already here. Cheers. Cheers. We're here in Vegas. We got our rooms checked in. We got our clubs. We hit the wall. Wedges. Yeah, sticks my moving. Just really on Check the point. scores. We're about top five. Oh, no, top I'm starting to get a little. Really I think we got this. Good talk. I'm here with Ryan Tripp. From Salt Lake City Team 2016. That's right. You tried to make it this time, but it didn't really work out. Tell me about it. Paige, it was the worst. We tried to qualify in Salt Lake, lost by two points to these gentlemen actually behind us, and then we immediately drove to Portland, slept in a car, didn't win there, went to Denver, went to Austin. The window in my truck broke. We drove all across the country, spent a whole lot of money, nearly lost my family. My wife said, don't come home until you win. So it was a wild ride, and in the end, we earned the term the lovable losers. All these teams won in one, uh, one event. I couldn't do it in four, but we had a blast, and it was a good time. The adventures are just getting started here in Las Vegas. Let's head back to the action for the conclusion of the first round. As a reminder, for the second game in our knockout stage, the teams will be playing top contender elite. Teams get 20 balls to hit into each of the major targets, starting with the first four into the green, then the next four into brown, then the blue, the white, and the trench targets. Double points awarded for successful shots into the designated areas, and ball 20 is worth triple points if it goes into the brown, blue, white, or trench target. Let's check in first with our leader, Team London. Matt Cousins lining up ball one. He drops it right into the green target for 10 points, picking up right where they left off. Yeah, they gotta keep playing solid like this. If they do that, they'll go right into the quarterfinals. Moving on now to Team Salt Lake City's second shot to the green target. Devin Wood puts one right in the green, just left of the pin for 12 big ones. They are definitely playing catch up though. Right now, they are sitting below that cut line in 14th place. These guys need a monster game to make it past this first round. Spot on, John. Also scraping the bottom of the leaderboard, we have Cincinnati, New Jersey, San Antonio, and Tampa. Unless these teams can pull off a miracle in top contender elite, it looks like their tour journey is going to end right here. Shane, this is golf, and I never count anyone out, but this deficit might be too much to make up. On the other side, looking really strong through the first game is Kansas City. Kevin Ward here on his team's eighth ball. A great looking swing headed to the brown target, and that one scores them a solid 14 points. Well, I like these guys. They got the tour swings, they got the gelled hair, they've even got the poker faces. You can't get anything out of them though, man. They mean business. Checking in again with Team Chicago. They were in ninth place after the first game. Kevin Polish here on ball 10. He's lining up to the double point blue target. It actually landed in the brown. That's only worth six points. Not sure if that was a miss hit or a mistake in knowing the game. Well, listen, you got to stay in the game. Sometimes you get caught up in all the excitement. You know, you have an extra cocktail and you forget there's 50 grand on the line. But Shane, these guys got to get their heads back in it. Heading back now to the story of the morning. It's Team London, just a dominating performance over the rest of the field. 
Brad Barnes from Team London dropping in ball 11 and to the edge of the blue target for 10 points, increasing their lead over the other teams. Well, they got to be feeling good that they're on top of the pack. But now with all the eyes on them, the pressure starts to build. Nearing the end of the knockout stage now, the ladies of Washington, D.C. are battling to avoid elimination. They've been above and below the cut line repeatedly this round. Megan Grahan needs to play her best game here to qualify in these final two balls. Megan lining up now for ball 19, taking aim at the trench target. It looks good in the air, but does it have enough to get there? It does, drops it in for 18 points. DC must score 11 points or more on this final ball in order to advance above that cut line. And a reminder to everybody that ball 20 is worth triple points if it lands into the brown, blue, white, or trench targets. Well, I like this play here. Looks like she's going for the white. Any ball in the white means DC goes to the quarterfinals. That one sounds good off the club, headed towards the white target and it is in 27 points, a huge bonus ball, meaning DC jumps way up the leaderboard into the sixth spot. We'll see if they can hold that spot as the other teams finish, but most certainly moving on to the quarterfinal round. Another team playing for their tournament lives here is Team Jacksonville. Wasabi and Ginger having a very solid game up to this point. Wasabi just put up the first zero of the second game, so it all comes down to Brett Benjamin, Ginger, to save their tournament. The pressure is on. Lining up ball 19 to the trench target. And he nails it, that's in for 16 big ones. Now the final ball. This is a triple point bonus ball. Looked like he's sticking with that long iron and he's gonna take another shot at the trench target over 200 yards away. Oh man, no, no, Shane. They just need four points, man, to qualify for the eight spot. I'd be taking my most accurate club and going for those points. Going for the trench is just not smart tournament play. Well, he's going deep again with a big swing. The ball is headed to the back fence. Wasabi looking on hopeful. No! And he overcooks it, pulling it left. That misses entirely. What a hard break for Team Jacksonville. And you know what that means? Huge break for Team Portland, who squeaks by with that missed shot. Their tournament continues while Jacksonville's heading home. Well, round one is in the record books. And John, we have eight teams advancing. The winners and clear favorites are Team London. They played extraordinarily well. Let's take a look at the rest of the leaderboard following the qualifier. Team London able to hold on to that top spot, earning the number one seed. They're followed by Kansas City, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Sacramento, our first all-women team from Washington, D.C., Atlanta, and Portland, who literally snuck in following Jacksonville's critical miss, failing to make the cut by three points. Well, John, what did you notice out there after round one? Well, there's no question. If you're here, you're a really good, solid player to even get here. But I noticed uh, a lot of different strategies. And John, crazy to show how well London played. 55-point lead over the number two seed. The two to eight seed, 35 points separating the two. Pretty impressive stuff from Team London. And really, when you look at the, the, the teams that missed out, Jacksonville, three points short, not able to get anything with that last bonus ball. Honestly, if they would have just gone for the short ball, they get it and they get they move up to at least six or seven probably in the in the points. Miss it by three, game over. They were heartbroken. We were heartbroken for them, and they were down with our page Branick. I'm here with my boys, Wasabi and Ginger, Team Jacksonville. Guys missed it by three points. Three points. Came down to last shot. Were you nervous? Uh, nervous a little bit, you know, I try to bury my nerves, but, you know, we should have paid a little bit more attention to how the points worked, but, you know, we definitely had a blast while we were out here. Uh, it's just unfortunate it had to be by three points. I'd rather it be a hundred. <laughs> well, at least now we can come back and uh, try again. Yeah. yeah, we'll be back, absolutely. Just, uh, just right at the end there is poor strategy and poor shot, but it is what it is. That's golf. Well, go have fun in Vegas. Absolutely. <laughs> See you, you guys much. soon. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, our quarterfinals are about to start, but before we get to that, we wanted to give you a quick look at last night's Tour Championship kickoff party. Our very own Paige Spranick had quite the responsibility to get the festivities started. Hey everyone, we are at the kickoff party. Pretty awesome here. Everyone is just arriving now. We're gonna go check it out. How are you enjoying this kickoff party? Oh, it's amazing. Top Golf Vegas really knows how to throw a really good party. 
Did you guys bring your swimsuits to go swim in the pool tonight? Uh, no, but I'm sure we, if we win, we'll be in there, yeah, yeah. If you guys win, I will jump in with you. Done right now. <laughs> So how are you guys gonna celebrate when you win? We're gonna put a lot of money back into the Las Vegas economy. <laughs> Last year we lost, we drank a little too much. This year we toned it down a little bit. So new strategy, don't drink as much, right? Uh, we'll see where the night goes. Chug, 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 chug. Stick to that strategy, what is it again? Uh, keep drinking. Wait, I mean, drink less. So Shane set it up where I hit the first shot, of course, because he likes to make me uncomfortable and put pressure on me. So I'm nervous. Face for Anna, can to hit the golf shots to get this bad boy going. Three, two, one. Well, we just got the Bay assignments for the quarterfinals. Here are those matchups. The quarterfinals is match play or knockout format where teams are playing directly against each other in top contender elite, and we have the Bay matchups here on the screen. The number eight seed, Team Portland, has their work cut out for them trying to take down the titans of this tournament, top seed Team London. The second seed, Team Kansas City, will face off against number seven, Team Atlanta. The number four seed, Team Phoenix, will go up against the number five seed, Team Sacramento. And the hometown boys, number three seed Team Las Vegas, will square off against that tough six seed in Washington, D.C. And John, in your opinion, how does play change as we get set for round two? Well, this is match play. So let's face it, head to head. It doesn't matter if you top the ball and it goes in the hole. The next guy tops the ball, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is, there's no pictures on the scorecard. It's head to head, I'm taking you down. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what their score is as long as they beat the team that they're facing off That's against. All that matters. Now it is officially tee time for the quarterfinals in the featured bay. We've got Team Las Vegas versus Team Washington, D.C. Let's head to the action. And starting off our head-to-head -head matchup, we've got Jenny Sue lining up to the green target here on top contender elite. Nice placement for 10 points to start off the round. Shane, we saw it in the first round. These ladies are accurate and consistent. Megan Grayhand lining up ball number two. This one also at the green target, a little off to the side, but still good enough for eight points. Solid start from Washington, D.C. You know, Puderba and Campbell of Team Vegas know they have their work cut out for them against D.C. But fortunately, they're hitting second, so they can strategize just how aggressive they want to go. An advantageous position for sure. Puderba also aiming for the green target. Knocks that one in for 10 points. You know, it's funny. We saw a much different tone earlier in the stroke play rounds. Everything was friendlier and nicer. They were high-fiving. Now there's a much, much more serious tone now in this head-to-head -head play. Campbell here, ball two. It's in the air, headed to the green target. And dropping it in for eight points. The guys have exactly matched the ladies' score through two shots apiece. All right, man, this is going to be a close one. It sure will be, John. All right, checking in now with our number one seed, Team London, up against the eight seed, Team Portland. These two are even through four balls apiece at 44 points. Eric Wilsey lining up ball five, trying to wheel the ball off to the right to make it to the brown target and does it. That one's in for 12. Shane, I love this matchup. Number eight, Portland, not only holding their own, but giving the heavy favorites a run for their money. Cousins now ready to hit ball five for Team London. He hits it right at the brown target for 12 points. We've got a great match developing here. Portland setting the pace for that top team from the UK. All right, let's keep going here. Let's take a quick look at Sacramento versus Phoenix. Now, just moments ago, Sacramento's Tyler Brown and Gary Dunn nailed their first four balls all into the green target for 12 points apiece. Now, don't count Phoenix out. We saw it in round one. They had a very slow start, but they came back strong and they showed the field that they really mean business. Chris O'Connor trying to make up some of that deficit here with a shot to the green target. And that one's a success, but only worth eight. Team Phoenix hoping Marty Jertson can change the momentum and pull another comeback. He's aiming for the green target as well. And a good ball into the green one. And that one's worth 20. Now, after four balls apiece, they do trail Sacramento by 10 points. We'll see if they can make up the difference. And moving on to our final matchup on the far side, Team Atlanta up against Team Kansas City. 
KC was the second seed coming out of that first round, but a distant second to the top seeded Team London. Lining up the eighth shot from KC is Chris Mabry, trailing Atlanta 86 to 92. Mabry is looking to regain the lead with a big score here. It looks good in the air, headed to the Brown target, and it drops into the second tier for 12 points, pulling ahead of Atlanta by just six points. Each ball is crucial. We're gonna see a lot of lead changes in this game. Atlanta's Justin Dehart now lining up the ninth ball of 20. He's headed to the blue target about 150 yards away. And he hooks that one left. That's the first zero on the board for Atlanta in this round. Ooh, this just opens the door for Kansas City. There's blood in the water. Now Dehart lining up ball 10. And again headed to the blue target. Same thing, another zero. Oh man, two big goose eggs right in a row for Atlanta. I'm telling you, man, these guys got to get it together or they are gone. Gone indeed and out of the running for that $50,000 championship prize. When the players arrived yesterday, we asked them what they're going to do with the 50K. Here's what they had to say. If we win 50 grand, it's going to be a blast, man. Put it all on black. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it on red, right? <laughs> I, I know mine are going to, to student loans. <laughs> Put it on the bank, save it up. I'll go shopping a little bit. Yeah, yeah definitely. A little, little bit of shopping. shopping. If I win, I will absolutely jump in that glass bottom pool in, a, in an instant. I'm jumping in the pool. We'll be in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a chest bump. Shaborgus! Let's head back down now to the feature bay with Team Washington, D.C. in Las Vegas. DC has a small lead over the Vegas boys after Peter Campbell had his own zero ball aimed at the Brown target. The score sits at 78 for Vegas, DC 80. I love it, Shane. This is when golf really gets exciting. This is make it or break it time for DC and Vegas. Vegas' booter ball setting up for the ninth ball to the blue target. It's got the distance and just barely drops near the edge for 10 points. Man, he has got one solid swing. His next ball in the air now, again headed to the blue target, again near the edge for another 10 points. The teams change over now to Megan Grahan, lining up DC's ninth ball, aiming for the blue target. Easily drops that one in for 12. Man, Megan is just throwing darts here. I love her accuracy. Lining up again now to the blue for Megan. Right at the stick, that one is worth 16. Oh, Megan is destroying this target and taking Vegas with her, baby. To her partner, Jenny Sue now, also aiming to the blue target. Great swing. Drops that next to the flag for 14 points. Man, you can tell Vegas is absolutely sweating. Looking across the bays again, Portland is trying to keep up with Team London. Trailing by 26 points, Derek Wilsey is looking to make up some of that gap with a swing to the white target. It looks good, and he knows it. Drops that one in for 18 points, cutting the lead to just eight. Man, these guys can play. You know, they are the underdogs, but what a story developing here. He lines up again, 14th ball of the 20 ball round, looking to repeat that last swing. And it bounces over the right side of the target. Count it zero. Heartbreak for Portland. London is going to use this chance now to run away from the team from Oregon. Run away they will as London's Brad Barnes looking to extend the lead now. This one looks good. Again, drops that one in for a solid 18-pointer. Shane, unless something changes here for Portland, looks like London is going to take this one. Let's head over to Atlanta versus Kansas City again after Atlanta's two zero balls on the ninth and tenth shot of the round. It looks like KC's gotten a bit of the bad breaks themselves, putting up two zeros of their own to the white target. Kevin Ward of KC now looking to retake the lead with this ball. It drops in for a 20-pointer on the white target. We've got an extremely close match here, with only five points separating Atlanta and KC. Quickly now back to Washington, D.C. and Las Vegas. Just moments ago, Hooterbaum missed the white target entirely for a zero. They're sitting well behind the ladies from D.C. at 172 to 200. Solid play from D.C. in the final four balls should lock this one up. You know, Shane, we saw from last round, these ladies don't try to bomb the trench too often. Well, it looks like Jenny is going to go for the trench target here on ball 17. A great ball dead center into the trench. That's worth 20 points trying to put the nail in the coffin here. Her second ball in a row to the trench. It looks like a miss hit. 
It rolls into the brown target. That's still worth four points, but definitely not what she was expecting. Ooh, if you're Vegas right now, you're seeing a little bit of hope here. We're gonna stay with this babe for a moment here. Megan Gray Ann lining up her shot to the trench target over 200 yards away. And it is not looking good in the air. It misses well off to the right, another zero. Vegas still has four shots to catch up. Gray Ann lining up the last shot of the quarterfinals. It's in the air and she misses again, this time to the left. Oh man, Vegas is down 52 points with four balls left in the round. They're playing for their tournament lives right here. All the pressure now on Pooterball's shoulders as he lines up for that trench target. In the air, it looks like it's gonna come up a little short. Oh, and it gets a lucky bounce and rolls into the trench for 14 points, cutting the deficit to just 38. He grabs a second ball, also headed straight to the trench. This one lands into the right side for another 14 point gain. Now they just sit 24 points back of Team DC. You know, three words come to mind. Bonus ball, buddy. It looks like this game is gonna come down to the triple point bonus ball. Before we get to that, Campbell does have one more shot here with the 19th ball to cut even more into that lead. He's aiming for the trench. His shot is online, but it comes up a little short. It's gonna roll into the white target for only eight points. Just 16 points separate these two teams. One ball to decide their fate. This is the battle to the end. All Campbell must do is get it into the blue, the white, or the trench targets, and the multiplier will take Vegas onto the semis. Campbell lines up, sticking with the same club. He's headed for the trench target. Well, we saw this strategy backfire with Jacksonville in round one. We'll see if this is worth the risk here for Vegas. That is a good swing, looks good in the air, and it is. Yes. Hits the trench for nine points with the multiplier, comes in at 27. Team Las Vegas will continue on to the semifinals, and DC is sent packing their bags and headed home to the nation's capital. Let's head to the finish of our London-Portland match where just moments ago, Team Portland missed the trench targets on balls 17 and 18, paving the way for London's trip to the semis. Here now, Brad Barnes lining up the final ball of the match, just a formality at this point, as London leads 248 to 202, and a cool 27 point bonus ball to cap off the round. Wow, a near perfect game for London. They didn't miss a single target and averaged almost 14 points per ball. Seemingly unbeatable, the number one seed marches strong onto the semifinals. Moving on to a much tighter race with Phoenix Sacramento, now with only 11 points separating these two teams. Sacramento's Gary Dunn lining up to hit number 20, the triple point bonus ball. Now Phoenix still has four balls to hit, so Dunn really needs a big score here to put the pressure on Team Phoenix. Oh, and he pushes that one right of the white target. Phoenix now just needs 12 points on their last four balls to move on. See, these guys are smart. They're checking into the rule book. They're looking at which target is gonna give them the points they need to move on. A couple of easy wedges to the green, that's all they need. And that's just what they are doing. Marty Jertson here literally chipping away at Sacramento's lead to the green target. This one is over. Number four seed Phoenix moves on to the semis. Let's head to the last matchup of the quarterfinals now. It's coming down to the wire for Atlanta and Kansas City. 38 points separate the teams right now. Atlanta's Ryan Whitley still with the bonus ball to hit, and KC has their final four balls on the changeover. Now Whitley struggled his last two shots. You know, it could be nerves. The pressure of this bonus ball has been a disaster for more than one team today. The ball on the way for Whitley, screaming toward the right side of that trench. It looks like he missed it off to the right, and Atlanta forfeits the triple bonus. Oh no! Kansas City will need 39 points to move on. Kevin Ward lines one up to the trench. Stripes it right down the middle for a cool 20 points. A great start for KC. Ball 18 now still going at the trench. And look at this, he pulls it left and misses the target. Whoa, that ball's on its way to Sheboygan, brother. This puts a lot of pressure on Mabry. Ball 19, Chris Mabry needing 19 points out of these final two balls. He's headed for that trench target. 
and he pulls this one left as well. I don't believe it. John, this is the third matchup of the quarterfinals to come down to the triple point bonus ball. Incredible. <laughs> There's a joke somewhere here about bullseye barbecue sauce from KC, but guess what? This final ball is no joke for Chris Mabry. So this is it. It all comes down to this. Ball 20, Mabry taking aim at the trench. He's hit a good one. It's headed towards that same outside edge. A little tough to tell where it landed from our vantage point, some 200 yards away. Look at Mabry. He's not even sure if it went in. Yes, the Bay Auditor confirms it snuck into the final zone of the trench target on the far left side. It gives KC 21 points and the win over Team Atlanta by just three points. A heartbreaking loss, and you can just see the disappointment for Team Atlanta after coming so close. And John, round two in the books, another oppressive play from Team London. Anybody you're seeing out of those top four that advanced that you feel like might have a chance to make the championship match? Absolutely, Shane. I'm going to tell you, Kansas City, they have game. And nobody's talking about them right now, but they're sort of working their way to the top. Just look out for them. Well, let's check out the leaderboard and see who's advancing. A tough loss for Team Washington, D.C., missing their last two shots. Team Las Vegas will be advancing to the semis from their matchup. Team London continued their dominance, crushing Team Portland by more than 70 points. Team Phoenix had a tight one with Sacramento, but ended up on the positive side. And Atlanta missed the triple bonus ball to end the round, handing the match to Kansas City. And Shane, we are looking at some great matchups for the semifinals. It's going to be a battle to the championship, and we'll see if anyone can take down Team London. Team Vegas just edged it out. Were you a bit surprised with the girls' team? Oh, no, because we saw them yesterday hitting balls, and we thought they hit it straighter than anybody else here, so they're going to be tough. But uh, it was really close. It came down to the final ball, so. Yeah, were you guys getting a little bit nervous out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, you got to, especially in those final shots, you got you got to hit it straight or else probably going to get sent home, so. You ready for the next round? Yeah, we're playing our buddies from Kansas City who we practiced with the other day, same day this morning. So it'll be a good friendly uh, friendly match. We'll have some fun. Awesome. It'll be tough again. So. Well, good luck. Thank you. I'll be cheering you guys on. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, after two rounds of the Top Golf Tour Championship, we have seen some pretty incredible play. We've eliminated 15 teams so far, but still have four in the running. Four teams for $50,000 and the title Top Golf Champion. Pretty exciting. That is right. We have a lot more action ahead of us, including the finals. That will no doubt be the most competitive match of the day. I'm Shane Bacon for John Kelly and Paige Sporanek. We'll see you next time for the conclusion of the 2017 Top Golf Tour. We'd like to thank the partners of the 2017 Top Golf Tour Under Armour, our official apparel partner of the Top Golf Tour, Travelocity, our official travel partner of the Top Golf Tour. MGM Grand Las Vegas and Coca-Cola, 